Hey everyone, it's Victoria. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a video, three years to be exact. Um, I had a, um, a lumbar spinal fusion back uh, exactly three years ago last month. I had my L4, L5, and S1 fused together. Um, I had two um, herniated discs replaced. And um, if, um, just to give you any idea of, um, you know, how I'm doing now. Last month, I celebrated um, the successful surgery that I've had by going to Yosemite National Park and hiking and biking. And the first day I was there, I, I biked 12 miles and then went for a four mile hike. And then the second day I was there, I went for a six and a half uh, mile hike. And um, I'm just loving every minute of being able to fully use my body and um, not have pain. And um, I will say that, um, Although I do absolutely feel that my surgery was extremely successful. Um, I have gained weight over the past three years. Um, and I think that that has caused some issues with um, mainly just my lower back feeling like, like a heaviness from time to time. And um, my legs seem to get very tired, which probably seems obvious if you're going to go hiking six and a half miles at <laughs> Yosemite National Park, but um, it feels like a different kind of heaviness or tiredness. So um, I'm actually wearing compression socks um, while I go out and do my Christmas shopping this month. Um, but amazingly, I can go Christmas shopping, which I could not do three years ago when I had had my uh, surgery or even the year prior to that when I had no ability to walk around at all. So um, to anybody who's considering having the, um, the a lumbar uh, posterior lumbar lumbar spinal fusion, I highly recommend it. I was uh, 43 at the time of the surgery. I'm 46 now. Um, I do think that age plays some factor in recovery time. My uh, daughter had the surgery when she was 12, and six weeks later, I found her trying to skateboard outside, which I just went crazy. Um, but she had experienced such quick uh, pain relief and recovery, she immediately wanted to go outside and um, get on a skateboard. Board. My mother had the surgery at 65 and hers did not go very well and I generally don't talk about it but um, there was a problem during the surgery and she's never fully recovered the use of one leg. So everybody's experience is obviously unique. Um, you might be wondering how did my mom, my daughter and I all need this surgery. We had a congenital defect, um, spondylolisthesis, uh, and um, I, my daughter and my mom actually had stage four and they needed immediate surgery at the point that they saw the doctor. Um, I actually was borderline between stage one and two, but it was when my um, disc became herniated that the whole thing just sort of compressed and uh, I was unable to even walk. Uh, the pain in my leg was excruciating. Uh, I would, I would, I vividly remember waking up during the middle of the night crying because the pain was so, so bad. Um, so um, I'm, I'm very grateful to my doctor. I'm very grateful that the surgery was successful, that I have a very, very active and um, um, fun-filled <laughs> life for lack of better words. Um, I'm, I, I go hiking and kayaking and camping and I, I walk for you know miles at a time and um, uh, I, I love being outdoors and, and doing anything related to being outdoors. Um, so I, I do feel like the surgery was successful. I do recommend it, of course, you know, everybody has their own personal um, circumstances leading up to the surgery and the recovery time will vary from person to person. Um, but, um, uh, and I, I think the only thing that I would recommend is that, um, you know, try and keep your, your weight down after surgery. Um, you know, if uh, I, th I think that's the only thing that's really impacted because that's been something just within the last, um, I think just within the last year that my weight has gone up. Uh, and um, I, you know, for, for a certain amount of reasons, but um, that's, that's really when I started to notice that I was having a little bit more difficulty with uh, being pain free. I still can't say that it's pain. It's just more like a tiredness or heaviness. And I think maybe that's just carrying extra weight around. I think maybe anybody would experience that. So um, again, if, you know, if you have any questions at all, I do try to answer um, messages when they come through. I just don't always um, see the notification right away. <laughs> Sometimes I don't see it for a while. So when I do see it, I, I do try to um, respond. Um, if you have any questions, feel, feel free to reach out. And I hope you all have a really very Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, however you celebrate this time of year. I send you love and wishes for healing and speedy recovery.